What's up, guys? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about luxury brands that turn women off. I know a few of you guys uh, are getting into fashion. Um, some of you guys might even have some luxury stuff. And you don't want to wear stuff that is nice that you know will not get you the results that you want, especially some of you guys own businesses. You guys have nice stuff. Um, you don't want to use any of this nice stuff if it's not going to get you the results that you're actually looking for. So in this video, we're going to talk about my code for dressing, especially if you can afford these luxury brands and you want to get more dates with the right types of women. You want to avoid the brands that can really attract the wrong types of women. And you want to uh, wear stuff that is nice, that makes you look your best without attracting the wrong types of women. Okay. Talk about the three types of luxury brands and how to spend your money more effectively. Okay. You can still spend a, a lot of money on clothes. I actually really do suggest that if you can, not necessarily important, but if you can, you should do it, but there's a way smarter way to do it than just buying designer stuff. Okay. So there's three main categories of luxury brands. Um, the first is flashy bullshit. You don't need any of this stuff. Okay. The, uh, Dior print, the Louis Vuitton, uh, print, um, Versace, like any of this, like crazy over the top stuff. It's too basic and it's also way too flashy. I, I don't like it. I I've never been a fan of it. It just says, Hey, look at me. I have money and it's not really a good look. In my opinion, it's going to attract the wrong types of girls. It's going to attract the type of girl that's like looking for a guy with a Louis bag, which is not necessarily what you're looking for. Um, same thing with off white stuff or any, any stuff that like is hypey that will go out of style quickly, unless you want to keep just buying a bunch of, bunch of bullshit, which is fine if you want to do that. But a lot of this hype stuff like off white specifically, I haven't seen an off white shirt in the wild in years, but it was super trendy, you know, 2019, 2020 that kind of era. And, uh, I still see some guys wear it, but it's way less trendy now. Um, and it's probably going to be become even less trendy in the future. Right? So the second type is, Hey, I'm not broke. All right. So the second type of luxury brand is like, I have a Rolex. It's recognizable. I have maybe a Louis bag, but it doesn't have the crazy flashy prints. Um, like a Cartier bracelet, you know, if you want to spend some money, have nice stuff. Most people know what these brands are. They most mostly know what these things are. Okay. It's going to be obvious you have money, but it's not flashy. It's not trying to show this stuff off. Okay. The biggest thing when it comes to showing that you have money, especially when it is, you know, coming to attracting women is small things like having a Rolex is cool, but What's more powerful than that is how you pay the bill. So, you know, grabbing the, grabbing your server on the way to the bathroom and squaring away the bill before with like with no one seeing. So it's almost like magic, right? Stuff like that, where like, she doesn't even have to think about money on your date, right? She doesn't have to think about the fact that someone's paying. It doesn't even seem like someone's paying. It's just happening. Okay. So, you know, when, when you're talking about these luxury brands and, and wearing nice stuff, that matters a lot more than this. But if you want to show that you have money and that's an important part of your life um, and you want to do that to kind of impress her almost, but not even really to impress her, really just to like show, hey, I'm, I'm not a broke bitch, right? If you want to show that, which is very high value, you want to do it in a more simplistic way that's more <laughs> relaxed, more laid back, okay? Um, and then there's stuff where like, if you know, you know, right? Um, like my buddy, Jack Hopkins, he swears by the Hermes uh, slides. Uh, I don't actually, I don't have any of these. Um, I don't have any Laura Piana either, but I know that, uh, I know Laura Piana and I know it's for ballers only, right? So some Laura Piana loafers, um, Laura Piana just clothes in general, like that kind of stuff. Um, only people with money will notice these. So if you want a girl that's more wealthy, um, she might recognize this type of stuff and it'll be a bigger deal to her. Um, It'll be more familiar to her and you'll probably get into those circles a lot better, but it can also be a gift and a curse because if a girl is really used to being around guys with money, but she doesn't come from money herself, then it could be kind of some gold digger vibes. So, um, you know, wear this stuff <laughs> at your own risk, I guess. Um, but you also, you know, ideally if you're a big baller, you, you should have some sort of vetting process for the girls you're dating. If you don't, then I would highly suggest you get some mentorship on how to actually, you know, work that out. Cause I've, I've talked to guys that have lost half their net worth, um, because they married the wrong girl and that can definitely be a problem. Okay. 
actually spend your money more effectively. So we talked about the, the three types of luxury brands. That stuff's cool, right? But here's how I would actually suggest spending your money more effectively. And for the guys that aren't rolling in, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month, uh, this is probably how I would spend my money. Um, if I was going to invest a few thousand into a wardrobe, which I would suggest doing, I would just suggest putting aside the money. And if you don't have enough money to, you know, put aside two, three thousand dollars for a wardrobe, then you should figure that out because, you know, money's abundant, money's everywhere, right? So, <clears throat> how do you spend your money? All right. Well, first, shop at places like Express, and this is kind of going in ascending order. Okay, Express is like the first level. J Crew can be a little higher quality, and Club Monaco is going to be a little higher quality and a little more expensive as well. So Express, J Crew, um, Express is less expensive than J Crew. J Crew is a little more expensive. Club Monaco, same thing. Okay. Um, the most important thing is finding stuff that fits you. Like I wear a lot of Young LA tees, uh, especially uh, all my t-shirts are Young LA. I really like Young LA. Um, I like this Carhartt jacket. I don't even know what uh, brand this flannel is, but I like this flannel. Um, I have, I don't have like the nicest stuff in the world, to be honest. I have this uh, Coach fanny pack, uh, which I really, really like actually. Um, and I wear it with uh, a hoodie a lot. Um, I have a pretty low key sense of style. I don't um, go out of my way to wear flashy stuff, uh, but I have a lot of clients that, that like nice luxury stuff. And so this is kind of, these are my thoughts on this. Um, if you're going to get stuff at Express, J. Crew, Club Monaco, these things probably won't be fully tailored to you. Obviously, clothes generally aren't, um, especially if you're like me. I'm tall. I have, you know, a long torso and everything. It's Things don't fit me perfectly. Uh, so uh, other than like young LATs, they actually fit me really well. But I would get everything tailored to you. You can actually get them altered and um, spend less money than you would on like a $1,000 uh, fucking hoodie or something, right? So you can spend a thousand dollars on a hoodie or you can spend a hundred dollars on a shirt and then 75 bucks to get, you know, altered. And then it's 175 for like a, a sweater. And yeah, that's a lot, but it's also fitting you perfectly. It makes you look really fucking good. Okay. Um, which is huge. And you really only need like two or three outfits to go out at, um, at the end of the day, right? Target and then getting it tailored, getting it altered to your body is going to be better than a shit Gucci sweater. So this has been my guide on. So this has been my guide boys on how to rock luxury brands when it comes to dating. Obviously, if you want to have really flashy stuff that you think uh, networking opportunities might come up or um, things like that, that can be cool. But when I'm talking about dating specifically, you know, I would always avoid the flashy print. Okay, I would always avoid this flashy stuff. I would even maybe avoid the Rolex on the first date. I would maybe even avoid the Cartier bracelet. But if you want to show you have money, sometimes it's fun to flex. You want to show it, then do it, right? Like I personally, I wear this gold Seiko watch all the time. And I'm really, you know, it's awesome. It's like my dad's old watch. Um, and I think it looks really good. If you're going to go anywhere with luxury brands, then um, like past, you know, J. Crew and Club Monaco, I would go with like crazy, crazy uh, nice but expensive stuff that is like, if you know, you know, so um, that's going to maximize your, your networking opportunities with high level guys that really understand like, what is nice shit. Um, you know, you can, you can have a pair of Gucci shoes here and there or whatever, but um, I don't think it's going to really make much of a difference because the thing is with these lower level brands or even these like middle brands, like a Louis bag or something like that, like you're not, actually in a tier of inaccessibility, like broke people just run their credit card and go into debt and get these things. So, you know, you're a little bit showing you have money, but it's a lot better to show you have money through how you act. Um, just in general, it's, it's way better to show that through your mannerisms, your confidence, thinking, you know, feeling like you're enough really, um, rather than showing anything off. So that's my code to dressing. That's my, that's how I navigate luxury brands. That's how I tell my clients to navigate luxury brands. Let me know in the comments, what else you want to see from me in the future. Um, probably going to come out with a video on how to get, a, you know, how to get girls while you're traveling, how to get dates while you're traveling, especially if it's for business, if you're traveling a lot, um, or if you're just going on a lot of trips, um, how to get dates there. Also how to get dates when you're working a lot. That's going to be the video I film right after this. So let me know in the comments, what do you want to see from me? I'll see you guys in the next one.